Hey guys, how's it going? Nitro Warlord here, and welcome back to the Vampire Counts playthrough. Uh, we had one turn on from where the previous video ended, so it's the next turn, and we've just been issued the Armor of Templehof Quest, uh, which means we need to own four provinces, and we've got, uh, no, we need to own three, and we've kind of got four, so that is all going well. Uh, and Necromancer to Blightwater. Man, okay, everything apparently is bright water, light water, I don't know why, but, okay. Get my necromancer moving down there then, I guess. Unit recruited grave guard. Uh, who recruited that? I grow impatient. Who recruited that? Grave times. Oh, okay. I thought he'd already got the troops he needed, but apparently not. Strike out. Uh, yes, we are bringing Iberhard Helschnicht over to Nashrak's lair. We are going to retake that from the, the foolish elector count of Ostermark. And then we're probably going to go for peace with him. Uh, I mean, I could push forward, get Karak Ungo and get Kazad. Air coolers or Urk coolers, which I mean I'm not entirely against, but at the same time, I don't really need to. I mean, you know, it's like they can have that. I'm not too worried. They look like they're having their own problems here because we've got Kislev pushing in. Um. Can we build in Temple Hall? Uh, I think in Temple Hall, what we were going to save up for the vampire crypts, maybe. I know I want to get to Hex Wraiths. Uh, so if I want, actually, yeah, good point. If I need hex wraiths, then I need the reliquary and the ancient armory. So I would need to go here, build the ancient armory, so, and then upgrade it to the reliquary as well. Okay, right, that's fine. That at least I, I got a plan for that place now. At least the true von Karstein. Are you really, Manfred? Oh, the true of one cast now. Gonna upgrade the moot. This gives us more income and all of that nice, lovely stuff. Um, as for my goals for after I take Nashrick's Lair, I don't really have any. I mean... I mean, yeah, I don't really have anything extra. Because, I mean, the dwarves... The dwarves have their own problems, considering the fact that I'm spreading so much corruption that they've got so much public order issues. Um, so, I mean, I don't really have to worry about the dwarves of Zufbar. Um, I mean, I guess taking Zufbar, pushing into Grom Peak and Mount Gunbad is like, truly solidifies my empire. But at the same time, it spreads me like in a really long line. So it's really thin, which means like I've got like multiple, um, yeah, like I've got, I guess I've got, that would give me like lead, it would lead, I can't speak, my bare mouth, uh, refuse the creature, I don't want chaos corruption, um, it would leave me with multiple fronts where I could be attacked from. I mean, I already feel like I'm spread out really kind of thin. I've got work bad, that's a could be a target. Temple half, Warden half, uh, Fort Overstar even. And there's no like bulk where I'm sort of safe, if you know what I mean. So I mean, I could spread out. I mean, I could push into Zufbar at least and get this sort of province here, this line. Which I mean, would get me here, which means I guess I could start spreading corruption 
a little bit more, but I mean, at the same time, it's not one of my major concerns. Um, if you guys could let me know what you think would be the best option, like, uh, should I keep pushing into the Empire to the west? Should I push south and make a sort of more solidified line, like a block? I refuse. He is still in there, isn't he? That kind of sucks. He's got a cinnabar, a cinnabar mining pit, as it. Oh. <sighs> All right. Um. Okay, I just need to spend a few turns gathering some income because my income is not great. Yeah, <laughs> if I'm honest, it's not great. Um. Yes, yeah, so I need to get my income going again. But definitely, guys, if you could uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below, like what my next goal should be. Um, especially for like uh, the future. Uh, especially because, I mean, I don't want to spread myself out too thin uh, and then obviously have problems. Um, armor plus 10 for skeleton warriors and skeleton spin. Let's upkeep for skeletons. Let's upkeep for. I need the one. There it is. Yeah. I need the one for Graveguard. Because <laughs> uh, most of my armies contain Graveguard. Um, they will serve. But yes, uh, on that note, like, seriously, let me know uh, what would be a good idea for me to follow with now. Um, I normally save that question until about the end of the let's play. of the, the, the video, but. I really am sort of stuck on what, where I should focus my attentions, really. So definitely, if you've got any advice on that, let me know in the comments below. Brave oh. news, my lord. Word Ooh, is spreading boy. across the land of a dark power rising in the northern wastes. The armies of chaos are on the move. Yeah, they, they are. surely plan to invade the world of mortals once again. Chaos is coming. Prepare your defenses well. For the forces of chaos spare no one in their quest for bloodshed. Yeah, chaos is on the move. Raise an army. I don't really need one. Need or want to raise an army? Soon I'll be all powerful. Okay, what happens if I go in here? I do not take attrition. Sweet. Excuse me, sir, but I believe you have something of mine. And I want it back. Um, <coughs> Schwarzhoffen. Uh, I kind of want the sinister cops back. Uh, field, public order, and income. Yeah, why not? <laughs> no. Get out of my land. Get out. I don't want you anywhere near my land. Go on. Two of them are in my land. That's not cool. Oh. I'm losing a lot of corruption there. I guess it's the uh, chaos units that Bring are in, me in my land. There, I don't want you get out of my land, chaos. I have enough issues with corruption having to be spread than when you show up and stop it. Go on, clear off. Stay around here, you're gonna have problems, Ready. dude. Yeah. 
Okay. Let's keep having a uh, spread corruption. I like that. Everything dies. I don't know, no tricks there. I was kind of hoping for a big fight, but then you kind of left. <laughs> so yeah, we'll just auto resolve it. And we'll occupy again, and there we go. I have my province again. We'll upgrade the place. And then, Ostermark, you're going to have your own problems. You're going to have your own problems. I'll let you deal with chaos. Because, I mean, I'm not at war with Chaos. I was going to say, where is Avalan? They're over here. Okay. Interesting. Am I in good terms with anybody? No. Not at all. In any sense. Look at the green skins with 15... You've got 15 provinces! That's terrifying. Dwarves of 9. Empire of 9. So I guess like uh, the dwarves and greenskins are just Bats and wolves. butting Bats. heads into each other. Uh, Bruce is dead. I like the campaign movement, it's just nice. So. With that said done, kind of now need to prepare for chaos. I, hunt. Uh, I mean, for that, I'm definitely going to need to get my income better. Uh, that's one thing I definitely do need to have sorted. My necromancer is still making his way south. Okay. So the force, those chaos agents have gone back north, which I'm totally fine with. I'm going to send my banshee up here, though. Yeah, there they are. Such arrogance. Sorcerer of death. No. Saucer of metal. Okay. Right. He went up another level. Um. Again, we'll try and make sure that he has lightning strike, as he's sort of in that area of things. Don't think so. Uh, 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 What's it gonna go to? Um, I mean, maybe I should just save up for the armory that I need here. I think I'm going to do that for now. <coughs> do, 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 do. Your wish, Master. I mean, Blightwater's. Eastern Badlands. There it is. Acropolis awaits. Gunther. Gunther has leveled. It's very good. I mean, he's just sat in the in the K 
camp. Okay, we can now get the armory built here. Um, and then with the next upgrade, uh, I, I, I don't really know. <laughs> uh, I've reached the sort of point on my vamp um, the Vampire Cats playthrough where I'm sort of like, I don't know what to do. I'm in a very sort of, I'd say, solid position in my home territories. Like, I'm not worried about, I'm not worried about the stuff that's coming. Um... My generals are leveling quite nicely. Uh, I mean, my income could definitely be better. I think that's one thing that I definitely need uh, to have improvements on. It's the Vargeist place being built. Uh, what happened when you deploy this? Uh, success chance. Okay. I mean, I probably should have her deployed, because then that way she's going to keep getting experience. The samblers move. The vampire law is supreme. Um, so I should probably have that guy in at least. Because that way she's still going to get, like, experience while she's just even, though she's, yeah, while she's sat there. The world sort of uh, gone very silent, you know. Armor of Tempelhof, it's fighting green skins again. Uh. Need any of the growth right now? Come, impress me. Impress me. I mean, I need to save up for all these places to upgrade the towns as well. Okay, the moot doesn't really need any sort of defensible stuff. I could get the sinister cops there as well. Actually, it's not a bad shout because that way um, Sterland can make most of my main sort of troops. The Empire and Boston of uh, I think that's how you say that one. See if we can get some levels. Nicely done. Oh, that's very nicely done. Corruption is still fine. Uh, corruption is still going to be okay there. Still going up. Still going up. Still going up, so I mean, every everywhere's fine on corruption. <laughs> oh, savages! That's fine. Be at war with the green skins. Don't really want to do that, if I'm honest. Okay, so, for our long victory, we need to get rid of Empire, Dwarves, and Bretonia. Obviously, we need to deal with Chaos. Hmm. So, hmm. 
I'm hoping that when chaos shows up, it's gonna dent the empire like really badly, and then I'm gonna try and like. I guess the word is like finish chaos off. But this also means that I'm gonna need to get through into these lands to get rid of the dwarves. <coughs> So, in a realistic sort of way, me coming south and dealing with Gunbad, Zufbar, and then coming down here is not actually a bad shout. I'll take some last hmm. And I can slowly do that with Manfred. Like, I'm pretty sure Manfred's army can come down here and take out Zufbar's lands. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have an uh, issue with that in the slightest. <coughs> Especially because of the amount of corruption they have there already. Okay, so yeah, like, because I'm, like I said, I'm going to need to get rid of the dwarves. And I can't rely on green skins for that. In all honesty. I mean, you can't, can you? So... I may have found my new target, but if you if you guys have got a different opinion on that, I'm open to suggestions. Um, I'm also wanting to get obviously Manfred to get his sword on holy power and the armor of Templehof because they're good. Um, other than that, I've not really got any plans, and I don't think that's good because chaos is here. <laughs> <laughs> the Crooked Moon have been destroyed. It's probably because they were messing with the green skins in general. Um, I'm uh, I'm trying to work out where I should upgrade as well. Um, let's go with upgrading Avaheim. We'll then like upgrade like the outline. These ones first, like the ones that are on the outside border, just to make them a bit more tanky. Right is mine. And I think, I mean, this will be the last turn. So you know what? They have Avaland and the Dwarves as their allies. <coughs> That's fine. So, yes, we have made our first move. And... Well, Occupy is not worth the others. We've started to make our first move south. I grow impatient. I know you grow impatient, Manfred. It's fine. Um, so, okay. He's got lightning strike now. That's fine. Growth. You'd have him increase corruption. But I think it's about time we started kitting him out as a... Beast. A melee beast, basically. So... Charge, more armor, or attack. I think we'll have the melee defense and the melee attack. We'll have those increasing. Because it's here where you get like the master strike. Obviously, Curse of the Remnant increases hit points. Cause terror. And of course, I think when he hits 16. Actually, when he hits 17, I could just give him the Nightmare into the Hellsteed straight away, so... That is... that is Lefayne. But, uh, yeah, I think we've made... start making... an attempt into the Southern Lands. Which, I guess, will give us an avenue to start spreading corruption, as we already have started now in Karazakarak, because we are bordering them. Uh, Akendorf's corruption will only increase now as well. 
So we are starting to spread more corruption. But on that declaration of war, guys, I think I will leave this episode here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Do appreciate it. Let's me know. Uh, especially the comments. If you could leave, like, what you think my main goal should be now that one chaos has shown up and obviously to do with my victory objectives I need to get south and destroy the dwarves I need to deal with the empire and I even need to deal with Bretonia so if you've got any advice on where I should focus my attentions that would be <coughs> that would be pretty sweet but yes guys I'm rambling a little bit there I do apologize I hope you all enjoyed it so I'll see you all in the next one take care